After a 4,000 mile journey, the school equipment from Coventry has finally arrived at Atira Primary School in northern Uganda. A team of volunteers from Coventry charity Global Care is here to distribute the gifts, including school furniture and packs of school stationery collected through an appeal in the Coventry Telegraph. We take a look around the school and some of the younger members join in a lesson. Now it is time to hand out the school packs. In Uganda, parents have to provide pens, paper and other school equipment for their children, but many cannot afford to do so. These school packs will be a huge help to such families. Head teacher Richard Akello is delighted with the gifts. Children from England, and they have donated the capacity to see that you study well and uh, you, you remember them as your friends. Because even if you are here in Uganda, they, they, con they are concerned about you from England. That's why they have sent you those things. Are you happy? Yes. Keep the books and the pens and the, and the pencils very, very safely so that you make the best use of them. Are we together? Yes. Good. I want to talk on behalf of the school that we are so grateful and I cannot compare what Global Care has done to an African child to anything on this earth because I know Global Care from the beginning in the early 90s and I have seen Global Care touching the destitute people down the grassroots knowing how the poor people belong and how they can make their future. That's why we feel Global Care should not be forgotten. And it's not like any simple charity organization. Global Care has had an impact to the African child and therefore to leave that impact in us. Thank you so much for these donors and I want to say may God bless you all. The team delivered furniture and school packs to two other schools including Agorawat Primary School in rural Abeko. Right, well we just want to explain to you what we're doing here today. We have a, uh, some children in England have been collecting pens and pencils and exercise books and rulers and sharpeners for you. And we want to be able to bring them to you as a gift from the children in England to you here in Uganda in this area. Uh, uh, we hope you will enjoy them and work hard. And today we've brought you some gifts from England. What would you like to say to the people uh, in England? I'm really very grateful, particularly the team which has come from England, for the hospitality they have given to the school in particular, and the Amura as a district at large. We are grateful for what you have done, and this is an impression that people from England love Uganda. What's your name? My name is Olcott Julius. Okay, and how old are you? Julia. I am 14 years old. Okay, and what, what's, you are about to take your exams? Yes. And so how will the, um, 
the pack help you, the school equipment? It will help me to, during my examination. And next year, when you go to senior school, will it be helpful then? Yes. Be good. Okay. What would you like to say to the people in England who sent you the pack? I want to tell them that may God bless them forever and ever.